of you. And then with the removal of legal aid for welfare reform cases and government proposals to restrict legal aid for judicial reviews, disabled people's access to justice to protect ourselves is also being cynically robbed away. But in DPAC, we don't agree with the approach that says that disabled people are hardest hit. This isn't a competition and not one that we want to be in. It's not a case of showing the world how badly we're being impacted or waiting for someone else to come and rescue us. The government knows what it's doing and simply doesn't care. Labour introduced ATOS and the Work Capability Assessment and they're wedded to a punitive and unjust approach to welfare. And as the Tories drag Labour into divisive debate about who's going to be toughest on benefits or toughest on immigration, what we need to beat back the attacks is unity in action. No one is going to do this for us. It is up to us to unite and fight. DPAC has been uniting and fighting from the outset, every way we can, fighting against the lies and misrepresentations. We've been in the law courts, we've been in Parliament, on the streets blocking traffic, occupying government buildings and paying visits to the mansions of the politicians who dare to tell us that we have too many bedrooms. Through the Benefit Justice Campaign, we've united with other groups, including single mothers, pensioners, students, tenants, migrant workers and unemployed workers. At the Benefit Justice Summit in May, over 350 people came together from 70 different campaigns from across England and Wales to organise against the bedroom tax. We heard from a Spanish activist how over 600 evictions had been stopped in Spain by communities and trade unions coming together. Anti-bedroom tax campaigns are currently mobilising on estates and in towns and cities across the country to protect their communities as part of the new Anti-Bedroom Tax Federation. And since 2010, we have had our victories. During DPAC's week of action against ATOS's sponsorship of the Paralympic Games, when 80,000 people booed Cameron and Osborne, we knew our message was starting to get through. When the High Court found in favour of the legal challenge against the Work Capability Assessment supported by Mental Health Resistance Network, we knew we'd struck a blow against the DWP and ATOS. And last week, when protesters gathered outside a Manchester court and an eviction decision was adjourned, we knew that we have the strength and the support to make the bedroom tax unworkable. But these are just battles. These are just battles and we need to win the war. And the war isn't just against benefit claimants, it's against the whole of the 99% with the tax also hitting those in work, as John said at the beginning. With wages falling in real terms, increasing numbers of workers are reliant on benefits to top up the derisory wages. Meanwhile, the dismantling of the welfare state is being used as a basis on which to attack workers' rights. Workers are having to work harder and longer for less and less money under worsening conditions. Meanwhile, as we know, the rich are getting richer. The only way we can fight back and against an attack of this magnitude is through mass resistance, bringing together industrial disputes with direct action. DPAC congratulates PCS on its ongoing industrial action, which we fully support. Whilst we lack Whilst we regret the lack of national action, which could have been a rallying point for the kind of action that can help beat back the Tories, we also think that when PCS leads action, we need other unions out there alongside them. Yeah. The fact is, we don't have time to wait for elections. We can't wait for more lives to be ruined, for more deaths and suicides. What we need is united action, and we need it now. So after today's assembly, we want you to go back and help us build the resistance. The bedroom tax has galvanised anger against attacks on benefits, and it's a fight we can win. On the 27th of July, the Anti-Bedroom Tax Federation has called a National Day of Action. Make sure you're in touch with your local bedroom tax campaign, or if that isn't one way you are, get in touch with the Federation for how to set one up. In the first week of September, DPAC is doing another week of action against austerity and for equality and inclusion. Together we can fight for a society where the Tories are the ones who are kicked out, not us. Solidarity. Yeah.